The former Camp Ibis is today a Bureau of Land Management Wilderness Area, about 20 miles northwest of Needles in the Paiute Valley of the Mojave Desert. It was one of ten major camps in the California and Arizona deserts set up by General George S. Patton to train troops for desert warfare during World War II. Munitions and ordnance, including unexploded ordnance, was left behind on some portions of the 13,000-acre camp when it closed. Many items were destroyed or removed through clearance actions over the years. However, it's possible more remain. Defense environmental restoration program studies by the Army Corps of Engineers and its partners in 1996 and 2004 indicated a low to moderate explosive safety risk and recommended the implementation of institutional controls to minimize potential hazards to the public. The controls included posting warning signs to inform visitors of potential hazards, developing ordnance safety presentations and awareness materials, and creating an ordnance safety display. Corps contractor Parsons Infrastructure and Technology Group posted some 34 signs at the former Camp Ibis earlier this year to warn of the dangers. Core contractor Innovative Technology Solutions assisted with the public awareness campaign and taught Needle school children the three R's of ordnance safety, recognize, retreat, and report. Informational posters were distributed to Needle's businesses and public buildings, and the contractor made a mobile ordnance safety display from items found at Camp Ibis, which is now on exhibit at the Needle's library. The Camp Ibis project next calls for the Corps to return in five years to ensure these measures are still protective of human health, safety, and the environment.